Espresso martinis come in a lot of varieties. The ideal espresso martini is creamy with complex flavors. The alcohol boost for these drinks is vodka. Otherwise, an array of liqueurs can be used and different drink experts have different preferences with some favoring vanilla, some caramel, some hazelnut, and some opting for chocolate or cocoa. Whatever the choice, a good espresso martini should present the flavors of both the espresso and the liqueur, and these flavors should enhance each other. My own favorite espresso martini is made with two types of Godiva chocolate liqueur, which give the drink a rich taste and texture. The sweet chocolate flavor is toned down by the espresso to taste more like cocoa, and the complementary flavors of coffee and cocoa resonate very well. To make this drink, you need a single shot of cold espresso. Stovetop espresso works great in this recipe. You'll also need one and a half ounces of vodka, one and a half ounces of Kahlua coffee liqueur, one ounce of Godiva white chocolate liqueur, and half an ounce of Godiva chocolate liqueur. You'll also need a shaker, some ice cubes, and of course a martini glass. Make the drink on ice, so start with the ice cubes in a chilled shaker. Pour in the ingredients, give it a good shaking to blend everything, and then strain the cocktail into a chilled martini glass. A good bartender can produce an espresso martini with a thick, creamy cap on top. I did my best, but here's a picture of what you can aspire to. Proceed with caution with this drink. It tastes very good, but a single espresso martini approaches 350 calories. And of course, you should always drink responsibly. Thanks for watching.